And welcome back, everyone, to the Lantern Corps. I did remember, it's like, what are we doing? Uh, the Lantern Corps video. Today's Lantern Corps video suggestion comes to us from Katrina Shoemaker, who asked the question, why is Grindelwald from the Harry Potter Fantastic Beasts franchise is Lantern Corps? Now, I'm only going to be using the Grindelwald from the movies. I'm not, uh, and I, but I think Grindelwald does show up in, like, the Harry Potter movies. I'm talking about, like, the Fantastic Beasts movies where we're kind of seeing him in his prime and his main personality. Grindelwald is, is interesting. He kind of runs a large gamut here of a lot of the emotional spectrum, but nothing, very few stand out. For emotional spec uh, for the emotional spectrum. So just let's start out. Let's start out. He can't be a gold lantern. This man has not been happy his whole entire life. Now some of these I'm gonna say are possibilities, but didn't make it to the list because they're only possibilities. Shame or ultraviolet, which yields with negative emotions, predominantly shame, which is is believed to be, is an odd one. I don't know, at least throughout the Fantastic Beasts franchise how much shame Grindelwald really carries with him. He didn't seem to be that ashamed of anything he did. So I don't know if Ultraviolet works. He's certainly not a White Lantern because he doesn't, he's killed, what was it, the weird, it looks like a Karen, but it's not, I can't remember, the, the creature he cut the throat of to guess the future, uh, tell the future and then bewitched it. Um, so he's taking life, he wants to basically do a genocide of muggles, more or less. Or at the very minimum, do like a war, race war between them and uh, wizards. He has taken a lot of life, but I don't think he really qualifies as a Black Lantern. Just because you've killed a massive amount of people. For example, the Doctor, as I'm currently watching Doctor Who with my girlfriend. The Doctor has killed many, 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 many people in the Time War. And he it haunts him so but I wouldn't call him a Death Lantern. God, no. Even though he's died multiple times and come back. And so, by those qualifications, having died multiple times, regenerated, come back, and killed multiple people, he could be a qualifier for a Death Lantern. I just wouldn't call that his predominant core. Likewise, just because he's killed a lot of people does not mean he qualifies. That said, uh, Blue is a weird one, too, because Blue... He represents two halves of the same coin, Dumbledore and him, in many ways. Both are inspiring people and both provide hope to individuals who kind of believe in the same ideology and mindset that they do. But if, what's the best way to put it? If the whole, if the majority doesn't believe in you or have faith in you or hope in you, then it's kind of a, it's kind of a, well, what's the best way to put it? It's kind of a, well, I can inspire hope, but only in so many. Not everyone sees me and thinks hope. A real-world comparison to this actually would be Hitler, believe it or not. And no, I'm not doing a Lantern Corps and Hitler. I, I've had people bring up what-ifs, who would wins, suggestions with real-world figures. I really try not to do that. I had someone ask me to do a what-if Goku landed in North Korea one time. I'm like, no. <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> Um, so, like, like, seriously, that is in such poor fucking taste, dude. Um, so, but the, the analogy to Hitler is because he is, Grindelwald really is kind of a Hitler in, to a degree, in the magical world. He was superiority of race, in this case, the wizards over the muggles. He was definitely willing to cull them or subjugate them, whatever. He it is an apt comparison, and yes, he has followers, but at the same time, he lost those followers, or lost a large portion of those followers, and was ultimately outed, and at the end of the day, I would not say Hitler qualifies for hope, and neither would I say is Grindelwald, at least not as his main core. There, if, if you're going down the lantern list, and these rings bypass him, and a hope lantern hypothetically did show up to him, hypothetically could work, but I wouldn't. I also don't think he's an avarice lantern. Every, all, of, all of his wants and craves all come from an ambition and a goal. We never saw, he never achieved the goal, so we never really saw him after the fact, after achieving it, whether or not he would have been satisfied. But I get the impression that, yes, he would have been, 
And because everything has a purpose to win it, it's not just needless, wantless, or needless, mindless greed. I don't think he would qualify for avarice. He probably doesn't qualify for compassion either because he is compassionate towards his people. He's just not compassionate towards everyone else. And you need to have either nothing but compassion or no compassion. And he doesn't really qualify for that either. He doesn't qualify for love. Now, we know him and Dumbledore had a relationship. We know it was was by all accounts romantic. So they were lovers uh, or at least love interests, all that. And they were probably at some point motivated by their love for each other. However, what motivates Grindelwald now is not his love for Dumbledore or his love for the Wizarding World. It's his, it's his disgust of the Muggle world and his arguable hatred for it. Now, I'll talk about hatred in a second. Red did not make it on this list. But either way, while he probably still loves Dumbledore on some level, he is not, I think, qualified to be a love lantern, a, a sapphire lantern. Definitely not. Uh, with Red, it's... See, Voldemort, I think, had a lot more hatred in him than uh, uh, Grindelwald did. Rage is an odd one. He, it's, I feel like it's less... That, or it's less... Uh, rage, and we see it actually more in the second movie than in the third movie. Third movie plays it off more as disgust than actual rage, but the third movie, uh, Grindelwald has that speech about they. Are, I do not hate Muggles. They are not like us. They are unlike us, and therefore they are not like us. Like he, it's not about hatred. It's about superiority. It's about feeling that you are better and that you should be the one. Just a call the shots, more or less. Control and power. That's what ultimately came down to. Now, that does counteract a little bit what I said about avarice, but at the same time, again, means to an end, he had goal and ambition. We just never saw him achieve it, so we can't give a complete, confirmed idea of how he would have been after the fact. So that leaves us with our big two here. One is the obvious one, the Lanticore of Will. This is due to the fact that, you know, it takes a lot of willpower and to do what you do uh, when you're, you know, a criminal mastermind, evil genius who wants some world domination and race superiority. But at the same time, you also have to overcome great fear. Like, let's not mince words here. He was still afraid to go up against Dumbledore. He did not want to go up against, one, because of their relationship, but two, he knew Dumbledore could stop him if it really came down to it, and he did not want that. Voldemort uh, was also afraid of Dumbledore. That's how powerful Dumbledore is within the Harry Potter world. So Will, I think, is definitely on the table, but so is Fear, because as a precursor to Voldemort, he was a very frightening dude. He was an individual who scared people, and he inspired Fear. Not as much to the level of Voldemort did, but definitely, because people could still speak Grindelwald's name, and ultimately, you know, it, where there was no worry about it, but, yeah, it's yeah, it comes down to will and fear in my mind. And if I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to be fear. Mostly, I'll, yeah, it's, I'd probably say fear. He's a lot too, he's, I think he's a too conniving and menacing and negatively motivated to be a, a Green Lantern. Add on the fact that he is still a dark wizard, he is still extremely powerful. Uh, and weaker individuals, weaker wizards, all that would probably be afraid of it. So I would probably lean towards fear with Will being a good secondary option. If I were to give a bronze medal to one of these, though, and it, that's tough. I think it would ultimately come down to black, red, or maybe hope. Of the three, I would probably lean towards red. Because disgust and rage are not the same thing, but they're very closely related. So I'd probably go with the red lantern as the runner-up. And then if I were to go one step beyond, I would then probably go with the blue lanterns and then the black lanterns. And then everything else is kind of crapshoot after that because he really can't qualify for the rest of these. If I were, you know, let's just, maybe I'll start doing this. Maybe I'll just start running them down after the fact. If I were to say, if we we're going, going with love, compassion, avarice, life, shit, oh god. Like, he does not really do well with any of these. Still, playing devil's advocate here. I hope, have a good day.